I was going to do a live, but then I decided that I was going to change my mind on a live, Facebook live, because I might need to share this somewhere else. Spirit world. That's what this discussion is going to be about for a few minutes here. You know, a lot of times before I do readings, spirit, or if I do Reiki, for instance, um, spirit steps out way before the client actually gets here. So I always have them in waiting, you know, and I'm always intuitively talking to them and asking them questions, you know, so this particular spirit this morning, I was like, okay, well, they're, they're going to be here soon. Well, they came and you know, when I'm doing, when I'm doing my energy work, one of the things that I always ask spirit is what signs do you want to give to your loved ones so that they know that you're present? Most of the time I'll get cardinals catbirds, hearts, feathers, coins. They'll show me a specific coin to for that person to be looking for. Clouds. No. This spirit was a character. They decided that they were going to send their loved one crabs. Blue crabs. Not just any crab. Not just any freaking crab. <laughs> blue crabs and and jimmy's at that and i am just sitting here with this person busting out laughing because i'm like waiting for a cardinal to pop up or a butterfly or a dragonfly oh hell no this one has to be comical and i think out of all the ones that i've had that have come to me i've had three three spirits in a reading that have been comical and this was another one and i just could not <laughs> I just could not help myself. It was so funny because all I see is this big blue crab sitting here up in here. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, I'm like, does she, I said, I was like, did, did, did they like seafood? Did they do crabs? You know, cause I tell people when I'm doing my readings, whatever comes to mind, I'm going to tell them. It may not be significant right then and there, but a lot of times when they're done later on, they'll message me and they'll be like, oh, okay. Now I know what that means. So I've had all kinds of things coming up with this particular person, but I had to share it to let y'all know when you're down and you don't think spirit is around you, they really are. The veil is so thin. Um, talk to spirit, communicate with them. They hear you. They see you. They let you have your private times. They don't raid in on everything unless they're like some of the ones that I've brought home. Then it's like, oh, really, why are you in the shower peeking your head? You know, but for the most part, Spirit is around you all the time. And I I don't know how else to describe that to people. I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience this morning because it was just freaking funny. So anyway, y'all, with that said, remember spirit's always around you. When you doubt it, don't look for the signs. Quiet yourself. Be quiet sometimes. You know, write to them. Talk to them. They can hear you. Especially this one hilarious just freaking hilarious so anyway i hope that helps some of y'all that are in um that are in that grieving phase you know still with loved ones i don't think that's something we ever get over but just know that the spirit's always watching and they're always with you uh, don't doubt that they aren't have a great day